Hi right, guys, welcome back to Micah's Adventure Backpack. Today uh, we're gonna be carving pumpkins because it's near Halloween. So um, so I have my pumpkin here. Everybody else kind of started, but um, so uh, this is just basically gonna be a tutorial if you don't know how. Um, what we have here is a book that cover got ripped off, but basically it has all these designs on it and that stuff, and then it comes with other accessories like this. So when first what you want to do is cut out the top. So a tip I have is you want to uh, kind of slant your thing in towards the center because then it has like a place to rest when like like this top is sitting on it. Like if it's curved like outways like this, it would just fall right through. Guys, so um, so you just want to you don't like have to like have it completely slanted, but you want to have it like some slanted like that and you can make fun designs like zigzag or a circle or anything like that and um, that, makes, that would uh, just do that first okay another tip with carving out the top you want to make sure that you have enough room that after you open it you can get your hands out and get all of the stuff inside out of it when I lift mine up see I got this little cool pattern it has a lot of seeds under it. So like, look how much stuff is in there. Um, so if you want, after you take this out, um, after you take that out, you could get like a scooper. So like we have these big spoons or in this kit thing that there came with a scooper. And you can just get all this goop out. Um, so here is the little accessory thing. It's not as big. But you see, I have a big enough hole that I can get in there and get all that stuff out. You can also save the seeds because you can like toast them in the oven and eat them. So, and they're pretty good with salt. Um, but yeah, you just want to get all this stuff out so it makes a good um, pumpkin. And look how many seeds are in there. So that's a lot of seeds too. So yeah. Okay, so guys, um, another thing is... Um, you just want to get like all the stuff out of there. So like I have like most of my stuff out and then also Luke's just soaring through the seeds and then the goop. So like there's a lot of like seeds in here. Like look how many seeds are actually in there. But I'm just getting the stuff from up here. So uh, it's kind of hard. But, like all this stuff like up there, like, you know, like up here, that's hard to get. It's kind of hard, but. You could also just get your hands dirty. Like my hands, like completely not good. But if you want, you can just wear gloves. Like him. So after this, we we can just clean this stuff up, and then we can work on the uh, design. What you want to do is, if you want to like get the like stuff that fell off, you want to find a good spot. It's like a flat spot. So like this isn't that flat. Like it's kind of like bumpy. So like I'm thinking like right here. It's a pretty flat spot. Looks good. So I just want to like get this goop stuff off, and um, you can draw you can draw the uh, stuff. Guys, so um, now I have this beautiful eye, so you can make your eye whatever design you'd like. It can be a triangle, it can be a circle, it can be like a crescent shape, it can be whatever. So as you can see, I've been planning out stuff. And I settled on this design. I like this one, but I don't know how to copy it over to here. I found, actually just found another trick. So what I did was I got this paper towel wet and I just put it over this already made eye. And then I traced it. And now if I just put this on right over here, like this, I can just cut along here when this is on here. And then I can, copy it like that and I also drew myself a mouth so I'm just gonna make myself a nose and then it'll be all set okay so um so look I just cut this out it's only a one time because uh as you can see this is the remains of my stencil that's just a cool trick so as you can see they're kind of the same so after you cut the one thing out you can lift up the top see top so clean and then you can just pop it out from the back like that okay so um also uh if you want you can just cut out just a little more so if like you look at it 
Like you can just cut that stuff out because you want, or like, like you can see like there's like that stuff. You wanna get that stuff out so it looks really good, like from any angle, like maybe I'll like just cut out from like behind there. Um, so I'm just gonna do that for, um, with all of them and then uh, get that stuff out. So, yep. Okay, so everybody else is still working and I have all of this done. See, I've been carving out along here to make it, but um, my brother Jesse is done, but he, I haven't told him the trick yet, as you can see. So maybe he'll uh, do that, but everybody else is still working. Thing. Uh, two younger brothers are up there, so uh, yeah, almost done. Okay, so um, well, I uh, finished it. Um, so I think that looks really cool, but I still have this dangling stuff here, as you can see, and then I still have a lot of scraps. I took some of out, but I still have scraps in it. So I'm just gonna clean that stuff out, and then uh, I'll show you all everyone else's pumpkins too. Okay, so this is my final pumpkin. As you can see, my mom didn't order a candle, so we just had to use one from inside my house. But it looks really good. As you can see, like, you can barely see this, especially since it's, like, the light's reflecting off of that. And I really like the tooth. So the only thing I would have done different is maybe made the nose just a little bit smaller. And also, I'm just going to get a smaller candle. Maybe I can, like, rearrange it to make it, um... You know, like, you can't see it, so, like, yeah, that's better. So, like, you can't see it at this angle, and it looks really cool, so. Okay, so this is my brother Jesse's. As you can see, he accidentally just messed it up a little bit there, but that's okay. Up here, as you can see, he made, like, two little dots. So, since he has so many jag jags, and he can't just figure out which one it is, all he has to find is those two dots, so that one, line them that up, one. and then they'll be good. So he made this, it's Jesse, you can barely see him, but uh, yeah, it's really good. Okay, and this is my brother Silas's. It's really fun. As you can see, it has like a squiggly, and it has its nose, and then it has its funny eyes here. So, and it also has this long stem hair. So my mom helped uh, him make that, and I think it looks really good. Okay, so this is my brother Isaac's. He has an arrow sticking through it. He's a zombie. And then he has all the guts on top of it. So I think this is really clever and it looks really cool. It We had to put the candle in it, so it kind of got messed up. But it looked uh, some better, but it's eyes and then it, uh, <coughs> mouth. Okay, so this is my brother Merrick's pumpkin. Um, Isaac's, uh, he is just inside. Uh, he helped Merrick make it. So I think it looks really cool how it has, you know, this, you know, I mean, maybe if you cut that off, but I really like the smile and everything else. So it looks really cool. As you can see, we can't fit the candle. It's just not working. You could cut it out, but that would just mess it up. So, um, it has these holes in here. I think this is like a face with like teeth. See, there's it, the, and then there's like teeth. Um, and, uh, he just cut it out because it's, like, such a small pumpkin. He couldn't, like, really do much with it. But it, uh, looks really cool. See? Uh, let me just bring it in the light here. Um, see, it looks, uh, pretty cool. And then he painted it before and then he cut it all out. So that's, uh, another really cool one. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment on what you would like to see in the future. Happy Halloween!